Hey, Stefan Arneo here for another video. I'm gonna show you a whole bunch of techniques on how to invest in real estate with no money. Now, my name is Stefan Arneo. I started with $1,200 in real estate, age 22. By 28 and a half, became a self-made millionaire. And here's the thing, guys. If you wanna buy real estate, if you wanna learn to get into the game of real estate investing, you gotta learn to buy with no money. Because one thing that does happen is you either have money, you invest in real estate, then you have no money, or you start out with no money. So it's good to learn some ways to buy real estate with no money. Now, some of you guys might say, hey, if I want to buy a property, I need 20% down, or I need 10% down, or 5% down wherever you live. That's not true. What is true is in your market, somewhere, somebody's money has to go down, but it doesn't have to be your money. So here's some ways that I've purchased real estate over the years and done deals with none of my own money. And this is some creative ways, some creative finance. Now, I got 11 ways here on the board I just came up with in a couple minutes. There's literally an unlimited number of ways to buy real estate with none of your own money. The question is just how creative you wanna be. So here's some basics. First one here is what I talk about a lot in my book, Money People Deal. It's joint venturing and partnering. And very simply, this is, there's three parts to a deal. There's the money, the people, and the deal. This is where you bring the deal, you bring the people, somebody else brings the money. And the rule with partnering is if you have two of the three, you're gonna get the third. So joint venture and partnering, this is how I built my, my business, my empire. This is how I won Rich Dad Hall of Fame was through joint venturing and partnering because I was a young guy, didn't have a lot of money. So what I would do is I'd go to rich people, people with money, I'd bring the deal, and we'd put that together, I'd get a fee, I'd also get the profits. Now, second one here, is the line of credit. Now, when you start to have some property, you start to have some credit, let's say you've got a good job, you go to the bank, get a line of credit at a low interest rate, and use that to buy property. Now, I don't love this, I don't love this method, unless you can refinance and pull the money back out, but this is certainly one way to do it. Another way here is lease option. So this is where, instead of buying the property, you lease it with an option to buy. That's very powerful. You know, this is something that you see a lot in commercial transactions. You also see this in rent to own. So lease with an option or buy is one of the greatest ways, I think, to buy with no money. When I started my real estate house flipping career, my very first deal I did as a flip was a lease option. I had no money to my name, so I leased a house for $600 a month, could rent out for $1,000 a month, and I had an option to buy it for about $90,000, I ended up flipping that house in a couple months for $173,000. Next one's a straight option. So this is where you can knock on someone's door or go talk to someone and you can offer them a couple thousand dollars for the option to buy their house in the future. So maybe you have a neighbor, you wanna buy their house next to your house, you'd say, look, you know, Mrs. Smith, I know you, you wanna stay here for the next, what, 10, 20, 30 years, whatever it is. Let me be your buyer, let me buy in the future. I'm gonna give you five grand today and we're gonna lock in the price, and whenever you wanna move, we're gonna buy at today's price. So this is a way to control but not own. Control but don't own. These are some really powerful things, and what the rich do is they control real estate but they don't own it. That's one very powerful thing to do. Control but don't own. Up here, you might have your partners with the title. This is control but don't own. Line of credit, you're controlling the money but you don't own the money. Number five, vendor take back. So if you, have, if you find a vendor, usually this is somebody older, they might be 70, 80, 90 years old. They wanna get out of their, let's say apartment building or get out of their property, they might give you a vendor take back, as in they'll be the bank, they'll give you a mortgage and you pay them. That's in the United States, in the United States they call it seller financing. In Canada, we call it vendor take back. It's the same thing. And I've done deals with vendor take back. Here's the thing about vendor take back, probably one in 50 deals, is a vendor take back. If you learn how to joint venture and partner, which is what I teach in Money People Deal, I teach it to my coaching students, this is the most sustainable thing. Number six, promissory notes. If you're dealing directly with the vendor, you can make a promissory note. This is a great way to take care of a down payment. Number seven, hard money. Hard money is a very powerful way, especially if you're flipping properties. These are private lenders that will lend to you. They're a little bit more public than private, but these guys done a lot of deal with hard money over the years. Number eight, vendor credits. This is a little more creative, where you get a credit at closing for the taxes, heat, hydro, water, insurance. This is one way to create equity on closing. Another way to create equity on closing is rent collected. You can close right on the day where the rents are collected. That's gonna give you another little piece of the down payment, which is really nice. That's one way to get in with a lot less money. 
Number 10, credit cards. If you've got some 0% credit cards, maybe like an MBA or a Capital One. With my first couple deals, we did a lot of 0% credit cards where we borrow for six months or 12 months. 0% use the money for renovations, fix and sell the property. And then number 11, this is one I was looking at last week and I've done a lot of store credit. You go to the hardware store, get store credit for your materials and that way you don't need cash. So a whole bunch of creative ways here to invest in real estate with none of your own money. You know, this is stuff that you can do it, you can use it, you do need to be educated, you do need to, you know, come take a class or get a coach or someone to help you with some of this because some of it is technical. But if you want to know more about this, this is the best one here, Joint Venture and Partnering. Check out my book, Money People Deal. 20,000 people have read that book, over 20,000 now. Great book, great technique. 